right. Now, I don't know if you if you look up, you'll see a little piece of rubber up there. Because you're next to this light, uh, you may get a glare. Uh, I remember my uncle talking about uh, not so much the new LED ones, but the fluorescent lights. Because um, when they first came out, well, they've been out a long time, but he used to work at Yale. He worked on the, uh, the Atom Smashers, all underground. I may have told you that story. And um, let me get my little wrenches. I went to uh, his shop, you know, well, to his work with him one night. Um, and we're walking around, and he opens up this door, and he, uh, we walk in it. And it was probably, uh, gee, it looked a lot bigger back then, but I'm going to think maybe six feet round and maybe eight, ten feet tall, maybe eight feet. I don't know. Again, you know, when you're smaller, you know, you don't, things don't look normal to you. <laughs> but anyway, um, he goes, so what do you think? I, I said, wow, there's a lot of crap in here. You know, things that I'm never familiar with, you know. He goes, well, right now, he says, we have, I forgot how many he said they had. Now, we're talking, you know, back in, uh, I'm going to say, uh, 58, 59, I don't know, but somewhere back then, and uh, he says, these are tubes, you're standing in a tube, a tube, now I'm thinking of tubes as being, you know, those tubes inside radios, well, this was a tube, all right, for being inside a radio, but it was the tubes that were working everything for the so-called atom smasher that they were working on. I go, holy shit, but well, that put things into perspective, yeah, but, uh, yeah, but anyway, he put a, uh, an eight foot, <laughs> he was, he was, he was something at times, he put an eight foot uh, fluorescent double tube light, uh, that's what programming wire that was a yellow wire usually the yellow or blue most of the time it's yellow is a programming wire to change the pattern but anyway he decided that he wanted to cut back on electricity a little bit and he didn't like the little round 100 watt me uh, 100 watt bulbs in the fixture so to him you know this eight foot long double tube fluorescent light was the way to go you know, they use them at work. Oh, no, this is, this is, <laughs> this is a pair of scissors sitting the ground. This was the, the, you know, the new thing. So he puts up this eight foot fluorescent light in the kitchen, which did a nice job. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it gave a nice, even, bright light, and that's what he was looking for. So, I mean, it did what he wanted it to do. Uh, until he started, he used to like taking pictures. Until he started taking pictures in the kitchen. And everything had a green haze to it. Just a little bit of a green hue. You know, it was just, you know, there. You know, first, you know, he's kind of going bonkers over this. Like, you know, what's wrong? What's, what's you know, what's happening with the camera? You know, and all this kind of crap. Now, I don't remember which one of these was hot and ground, and I thought I marked it. <laughs> well, this is going to be a problem. Let me plug in my, uh, I'm over here plugging in. Here, let me move you down for a minute so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Right here. I gotta find, uh, I started throwing things over here, so I ended up 
I'm going to put a mess over here until I get a chance to get the benches back to normal. And then I put a plug in up here. Hey, Tuck, now what am I knocking over? Okay, so now what I need to do is find some small screwdrivers because I don't want to take the plug apart, which I may have to do, but I don't want to do. Where can I put you guys? Because I don't want you to miss any of this. <laughs> Not that much of it. This is so interesting. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, I can find the ground easy enough. I keep forgetting that I'm dropping shit every time I pick something up. I keep forgetting about the old meterouskis. They're here to help us. So, if I were to put this here on ground, but that's a cruddy ground. How did that happen? Whoa, that could be the problem right there. Hmm, that's disgusting. And I bring this up here and I stick this in one of these holes. There it is. So that's the ground which is number one. Number one. Okay, so let's turn that off for now, because we're going to be using that again. Now, what I need to do is find, I need a small, maybe a 14. I need a 14 gauge wire. 14 gauge. Already cleared and cleaned. That's not 14. Now uh, we'll use this one. Be nice. Be nice to daddy. <laughs> Want some candy, little girl? Mm. And a 14 gauge is perfect to fit in there so I don't have to go cuckoo. And you and me. And where's my stripper? Here. What's he talking? Now this, let me do both sides. So this is one of them that's hot. And there we go. That's almost like a water finder. So that's not going to be too healthy. May have to hold that one. And I'll put that one there. Okay. I need one more. One more. But I don't want to mix it up. I'd like to have a green one, but I don't. Oh, maybe I do. Do I have a 14.3? 
have a red. But it's a little heavier. And I don't want to force it. Oh, okay. So that works. So now I even know if uh, I need a heavier one, I can do it. I just don't want to stretch those out. Because then they won't fit the plugs in there. Okay, so. No, that's not going to work. Why is this being a pain in the butt? We'll try that. Okay, so now, the ground, the black one. Anyway, when I was talking about the, the camera, uh, the black one goes to number one. Number one. And that means if I hit this one on here, do I have a switch on that? I don't. So why isn't this working? That may be the bad one. Okay, there's that one. So the white one appears to be the bad one. So the red one are those. So let me take this one out. Let's put these over here for a minute. There. So we got the ground and we got the white one, which appears to be the bad one. That's the one that goes to these lights here that I really didn't care for when it came in. But getting back to the camera, I keep getting comments like, next time it may be a good idea if you face the camera towards you. I was looking at the drill. Hmm, okay. Now, I know they're trying to be helpful, but maybe next time, look a little bit. I mean, there's a, an arrow or circles or something there to let you know. It's 360. You can turn it. That's the purpose of the 360. But again, a lot of people don't realize what 360 is, you know, when it comes to this. So, you know. Please. I cut a piece of wood before, and apparently it went into there. You know, and I can understand that. And they're, and they're just trying to be helpful, and I understand that. But sometimes it gets to be a little annoying when you try to tell them, but they're not hearing you. Because it comes back around, and the next one, the same thing. Now, it could be just me. I mean, the way I'm explaining it. I don't know. You know. And again, I really don't mind. You know, I'm always looking for suggestions. And, you know, I may happen to know a little bit about that one so I know what's going on. What I'm looking for here is my jumpers I used to have over there. I had a little pair. A pair of red and black. And apparently, I don't have them anymore. So where, oh where, do they go? Is that them? No. Uh, would that work? No. Let's take this. Because this may tell me if I can find it, but I need, well, I can do it from here, I guess. Okay, hold on. Okay. 
Okay, so if I take this one and stick it in the hole, stick it in the hole, I believe it was in that hole, 